From building its own cellular network for its factory to aiming for a world of fully autonomous farming by 2030, John Deere is truly changing the future of farming. Let's look into how exactly they're doing this, starting off with its quest to make its own cellular network. It might sound astonishing to you, but from what I've heard, John Deere has invested a total of a half a million dollars since 2020 into its Moline Harvester plant, a property that covers around 3 million square feet. Now, the thing is, they built this factory to support its latest investment in technological innovation, bringing wireless cellular networks into factories. We all know how crucial it is to make things work as smoothly as possible inside these places. And it looks like that's exactly what John Deere wants as well. Those half a million dollars went into developing 50 megahertz of wireless spectrum in a total of five counties in the American Midwest. A lot of equipment for their tractors is assembled inside this factory, and it requires some intense work. With the wireless cellular network in the picture, you can imagine that it can only get better. What's more, John Deere has developed it all on its own, so its quest to become the best should definitely pay off. One way in which they're doing this has also come to light, and honestly, it makes sense. They're incorporating IT into their various factories. Can you imagine just how much work can be done if factories are turning to IT for all those steps of assembly? Yeah, it makes all the work faster. What's more, IT provides better precision, and we can't ever ignore to factor that in here. Also, the thing is, this isn't the first time we're seeing John Deere turn to such advanced technology. In fact, the company's got a history with IT, and here's how it all went down. So, I've already mentioned how the company invested half a million dollars into 50 megahertz of wireless spectrum, and the entire aim here was to make their factories more modern. But this isn't something recent. They've been doing this for quite some time, and only now have they seen their actions come to fruition. For years, John Deere has hired the services of Ethernet for its many factories. They've been pretty serious about incorporating information technology and its innovations, because they went as far as coming up with their own plant for manufacturing software. Now, tell me that isn't some true dedication to a vision. It sure is. From what we've heard, the Moline plant has various Wi-Fi networks in use, and they also seem to be experimenting with Bluetooth and other wireless services. We all know the future is going to be wireless. That's just how things seem to be transitioning. And to see companies like John Deere already preparing themselves for these possibilities, that truly is something. Let's also have a look at their other plans, such as all the things they're doing for autonomous farming. A farming business butting heads with tech giants? This idea would seem out of place given the common misconception of the 185-year-old business. As a heavy metal maker of tractors, bulldozers, and lawnmowers, with the company's distinctive green and yellow paint jobs. According to Jorge Harad, Vice President of Automation and Autonomy for Deere, based in Moline, Illinois, that's what the company envisions for the future. A preview of this was shown at the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas in January of last year, when Deere unveiled its fully autonomous 8R farm tractor, which is operated by artificial intelligence rather than a farmer at the wheel. Deere's nearly two decades of strategic planning and investment in automation, data analytics, GPS navigation, Internet of Things connectivity, and software engineering has culminated in the autonomous 8R. Deere intends to develop additional autonomous farm vehicles and other technological breakthroughs. However, there are now fewer than 50 of these vehicles in use worldwide. While a significant portion of that R and D was conducted in-house, the business also made a number of acquisitions and formed partnerships with ag tech companies, gaining access to their know-how and expertise in the process. This is a result of the knowledge that technology will promote value creation and boost agricultural output, profitability, and sustainability. Even though Deere made a big statement at CES and excited the investment world, stock research expert Stephen Volkman thinks it's still too early to draw any conclusions. But there's a question some of you may ask. How is it aiming for that by 2030. Currently, there are fewer than 50 autonomous deer tractors in use worldwide. A fully autonomous farming system for row crops should be in place by 2030. But in Wall Street time, that's an eternity. Deer is currently making money and adding value with well-proven automated systems that can be adapted to its current tractors, like GPS-based self-steering and precision seeding that calculates how deeply and widely to space plants. Those conditions must be met 
before you can look into full autonomy. Without even mentioning the marketing advantage, the Autonomous 8R marks a significant advancement in current ag tech. Before it was unveiled at CES, everyone believed that complete autonomy was a pipe dream. Though none of them are currently on the market, there are roughly 30 different autonomous tractor projects being worked on around the world. But reality kicks in when Deere, which holds 60% of the North American tractor market, releases one. This situation is a reflection of Deere's autonomous plan, in which they use computer vision and machine learning in their AI. At Silicon Valley firm Blue River Technology, which Deere acquired in 2017 for $305 million, the science behind it was well underway. Also, this is not the only thing Deere's invested in. It's on another level with ideas for modern farming. Another element of Deere's ag tech puzzle is autonomous driving, which was completed last year when the company paid $250 million to acquire Bear Flag Robotics. The automated navigation technology from Silicon Valley startup Bear Flag may be put onto pre-existing tractors. The most recent version of the Deere 8R tractor, which first hit the market in 2020 and incorporates Blue River technology to have autonomous capabilities. That's not all. Deere has bought AI assets from two other leading ag tech companies since the CES release. In April, Deere and Gus Automation, a company that created semi-autonomous orchard and vineyard sprayers, established a joint venture. A single operator may remotely manage up to eight global unmanned spray system sprayers at once while using a laptop thanks to AI. Regardless of height or canopy size, the system can detect trees and calculate how much to spray on each one. A month after that venture, Deere announced the purchase of multiple patents and other intellectual property from AI company Light. By employing extra cameras in simulating the structure of the human eye, Light's depth perception platform enhances existing stereo vision systems and enables more precise 3D vision. The platform from Light will be incorporated into upcoming iterations of Deere's autonomous farm machinery. Deere has set up a startup collaborator program to test cutting-edge products with customers and dealers. Without a more formal business engagement, to keep a close eye on other ag tech research and development. Now, keeping in mind all of this, John Deere's new technology must have strong reactions from others. Let's see what farmers have said about it. Well, its technological advancements have generally been well received by farmers, as they have greatly improved efficiency and productivity in the agricultural industry. Many farmers appreciate the ease of use and reliability of John Deere's equipment, which is designed to help farmers get the most out of their crops while minimizing labor and other costs. They also appreciate the company's commitment to innovation, as evidenced by its development of precision farming technologies, such as GPS mapping, automated guidance systems, and yield monitoring systems. Some farmers have complained about the cost of John Deere's high-tech equipment and the complexity of its software and hardware systems. However, overall, the consensus among farmers seems to be that John Deere technological advancements have had a positive impact on the industry, helping to make farming more efficient, productive, and sustainable. Isn't that great? We can't wait to see what else they have in store. And that's all on how John Deere is changing the future of farming. Thanks for watching.